Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will take one question related to product costing. Uh, if you are not familiar with this product costing, then you can go through this video so that you will get the complete idea before watching this particular video. In this video, we are going to explore more about, we will review of in which situation we are going to use the transaction code CK11N, in which situation we are going to use the transaction code CK40N, when we are going to use CK24 or it's what is the use of CK24 and I will show you one error and uh, I will give you the uh, hints that how you can resolve this error or in interview if you get these questions then how what should be your approach. So what is product cost planning or what exactly this? Uh, for every period, now when I am saying period, period may be one month, it may be quarter or it may be one year. So before every period we have to calculate the planned cost of the product before calculating the actual cost of the product. Actual cost of the product we are calculating under our cost object controlling. So in that case, you are going to take production order, you are going to calculate the cost or you are going to take the sales order, you are going to calculate the cost. Depends on the situation, make to order or make to stock situation. But plant cost calculation you are going to do. That means if you are going to manufacture this particular product, then what will be our cost or what are the different components related to cost? Overall, if you'll see the cost is calculated by adding different components. So mainly you will find material. So when I'm saying material, it may be Multiple material will be there, multiple raw materials will be there, your uh, uh, packing material will be there, semi-finished stock will be there, right? So uh, after this, I will show you one costing sheet. So there you can see different components related to the material. So uh, your uh, activity related cost will be there. So again, in this activity, we have multiple activities possible. So somewhere we are doing some assemble work, somewhere we are doing some labor activities, somewhere some machine activities, somewhere we are doing some electrical work. So all these are activities. So when we are going to calculate this activity related cost or material related cost, so in that case, we have to integrate with the PP module, which is known as your quantity structure. So CO integration with PP is highly required for calculation this cost. Plus CO integration of MM is also required to calculate the material cost. So once all these backend configurations are done, then only in future we can go for the cost calculation. Another component will be the surcharge cost or overhead cost. So direct overhead, indirect overhead, all this will be included in the cost calculations. And why we are saying that it is our planned cost? Because here we are going to include the planned data related to the cost calculation, historical data. Means I, if I am calculating the cost for October, then in that case I will take the September data for cost calculation. If I am calculating this plan cost for 2024, then I am going to take the 2023 data because this cost we are going to calculate in advance before our commercial production. So maybe before October, we are going to calculate this plan cost related to October. So uh, here different components will be there like one will be your uh, quantity structure, bill of material, routing, work center, all these configurations uh, are required. So in project, PP consultants are going to do all these things, but when you practice or you will explore this cost calculation, you have to configure that, that one as a part of your end-to-end -end business process configuration related to cost calculation. Then another one is your costing variant. So under this costing variant, multiple parameters will be there, how we are going to calculate our material cost. So basically under this costing variant by using the valuation variant, we are going to see how material cost will be calculated, how the activity cost will be calculated, the overhead will be calculated. So for all this, we should have the individual component for the cost calculations, right? So if you don't have the costing sheet, let's say, then in that case, overhead cost will not be calculated. So that has to be there for the uh, calculation point of view. You don't have the overhead key, then your overhead cost will not be calculated. So multiple steps are involved here when you're going to do the cost calculations or the plan cost calculation. So whether it is plan cost or actual cost, in, in case of actual cost, also these configurations are required, whatever you are going to configure in the plan cost. Only thing is your data will be different. Plan, in, during plan cost, you are using plan data. In, during actual cost, you are using the actual cost. But in this particular video, I'm explaining related to the plan cost issues or plan cost features. Then in another video, I will show you the actual cost calculation. Then another component is here, the cost component structure. So like, for example, let's say your cost is 330. Now 331 figure will not be there. We have different components, like what are the different material will be there, right? So material cost, again, raw material cost, semi-finished stock, semi-finished stock includes various other materials. So you can check this image, you will, get, you will find that different component related to material is there. So it is my cost of semi-finished stocks. With semi-finished stock, I have added 
packing material because in real production this is how the cost is calculated the uh, how we are going to proceed with our production accordingly this cost will be calculated so this is how the cost manufacturing is done or this is how manufacturing will be there and accordingly we are going to calculate this cost so what are the different activity related cost will be there because there is no process like you just put all your materials and other and you are going to get the fg so process wise we are manufacturing and accordingly we are going to calculate the cost so when you are going we have calculated the cost how you want to present it's just one figure you want to present or you want a bifurcation of cost so as we have calculated the cost individual component wise so we want to bifurcate again this bifurcation how you are going to do it's up to the business requirement like i can say material cost activity cost overhead cost that is also fine or i can individually one by one individual components i can add that is also fine so business will take the decision how they want to present or how they want to report their cost calculation so all these things we are going to see uh, in this particular video and i'm going to show you one error so that you will get more idea related when you are going to check the log but this is not only error when you are actually run the cost estimate so you are going to have a different error if you have any error mail me so i will guide you how to resolve it or maybe i can address that issue during our uh, video presentation so let's check in the system so that will get more clarity on this when we will go for single level cost calculation so that time we are using ck11n which you can access uh, by using the transaction code ck11n or you can go to uh, you can also access through navigation so under controlling if you go to cost calculation and uh, under this product cost planning material costing here we will find that particular decode and you can so here basically you are going to enter what the product for which product we are going to calculate the uh, product cost calculation or the plant cost that material number suppose let's say material number 161 this is my finished stock and for this i am going to calculate this cost then you need to enter the plant for which plant we are going to calculate this cost then we need to uh, enter here the costing variant that also you need to enter so these are different components related to cost calculations so separately i will show you the costing variant and under that costing variant we have a important area that is valuation variant so once you will execute it then you need to specify the date like from which period to which period we are going to calculate the cost then you are going to get the output i already calculated it so i am just going to show you to get the value you can use the transaction code ck13n so for the same material i already calculated the cost let me show you that so i entered here the plant and the costing variant so here it is uh, although it is uh, a multi level cost calculation but assume that it is a single level cost calculation and these are our different components are available for the cost calculation just ignore this semi finished stock because normally uh, we don't use this t, co t code when we will go for uh, multi level cost calculation so here different components are available and uh, what i was talking about like if we'll go to the costing data so in costing data you will find some informations are there like this is the costing variant which i will show you this costing variant then uh, the validity of this cost calculation then quantity structure informations are available right so all this back end configurations are required in fact this quantity structure configuration is part of the pp settings then we have the valuation informations the costing sheet is there so that is again another component right which is uh, used for overhead cost calculation and uh, overhead key is also required for this overhead ca calculation so this is how we are going to calculate the cost if we are going for uh, if we are going to calculate the cost with single level cost calculation if it is multi level cost calculation in that case concept is same but here we are going to calculate the cost for multiple products together and uh, or like uh, there will be higher material for example finished stock that includes semi finished stock that includes various type of components then in that case we are using ck40n uh, transaction code or you can use this particular navigation so here again the same concept it's already calculated so if we we'll check same costing variant is also required here then you are going to have the date related informations will be there valuation informations will be there so overall concept is same only thing is how or which t code you are using for the calculation of what type of cost so this is our end result so here i have included the parameters then this is my result this is my cost calculation so this is a label then material components are uh, there so this one is mostly we are using 
uh, for like multi-level cost calculation for manufacturing company uh, like when the product is uh, it's a if a discrete manufacturing you can say where different components are there in that case we are using ck40n so again for this the backend configurations will be there as it is whether it is single level cost calculation or multi-level cost calculation the configurations accordingly you have to do and then only it is going to work once cost calculated then after that we are going to update the price or the update the cost in the material master that is through the marking and release procedure so for that we are using the transaction code ck24 so here you have to specify for which period we are doing the marking right so if it is related to uh, my current month so i will select accordingly the period then i will need to add the marking allowance here we can specify for a particular plant or multiple plants materials so accordingly we need to uh, maintain our parameters and first we will do the marking then after that we are going for release so marking means updating the future price and releasing means uh, it is updating the current price so once you will update this information first let's say you have completed the marking I already com completed the marking release, so I can't show you, but I will show you the output. So if I will go to the material master and let's take the same material and if we will go to the costing tab, so in costing tab where we are going to update the price, whatever we have calculated, so you will find that it's already marked. So once we will complete the marking, you will find the future price is going to update. So this is my future price. This one is going to update. And once it is accepted and it is uh, uh, like this price calculation is accepted by different department. So in that case, we are going to move from mark price to current price. Now it is calculated. So that's why it is updated as current price. And this is my previous calculation. So this is my previous plan cost calculation. So if I will click here, it will redirect again. Another Another cost calculation when that time it was calculated right so this is how we are going to do the update related to uh, the marking and the release marking means future price release means updating the current price so this price is also going you are going to see in your uh, material ledger also right so this price is calculated and uh, in this process revaluation is that the old price was you can see 328 the new price is 330 so there is some existing inventories what we have 17 inventory so 17 units we have that need to be reevaluated. so because of that revaluation, you can see the price difference also uh, updated here and those informations also you will see in the accounting as a part of FIMM integration so multiple business process combined together it is we are going to get the result this is one practical error which is uh, related to cost calculation so here uh, the user is saying that when I am going to run the CK11N so activity cost is not updated in the cost calculation so you can see uh, in this uh, cost calculation if you will check this working so material cost we are getting but there is no activity related cost so this uh, cost component 20 is missing 30 is missing 40 is missing then uh, activity overhead is also missing so what could be the reason why we are not getting these values so in this case multiple things we need to uh, check related to this cost calculation so we have to first need to check whether the plant price is updated or not kp26 all the activity related plant price of the activities are updated or not and uh, quantity structure also we are going to see this in this quantity structure this particular tab this quantity structure tab also we have to see whether it is updated or not means the uh, it is as related to activities so definitely we are going to check the routing settings are complete configured it or not work centers are properly configured or not because uh, if it is material then maybe we can check the bill of material but as it is related to activity so we need to check the routings now uh, in real project this part will be handled by the PP consultant but when as a CEO consultant you should have also knowledge on those areas so that is known as your quantity structure so we need to check the activity price updated or not we need to check the work center properly configured or not the formula is properly updated or not or it is configured or not the routing related to that product is configured or not so that is all this related to the activities so we need to these are my checkpoints plus activity uh, overhead is also not it's not available that's 60 line 60 that that is uh, uh, not there so also we need to check uh, the costing data so they are our 
calculation point of view like overhead keys there or not and costing sheet if properly configured or not so sometimes uh, activity overhead is also directly linked with our activity cost maybe with all these configurations are correct related to this costing data or this overhead calculations as activity price is not coming so because of that the overhead also will not be there so that's why just randomly if you'll check this particular picture or the, if you are going to get a question like this activity is not there so what should be the right answer so you can't say that this is the right answer or this is because of this reason it's not working so we have to complete go through the log and we have to check all the components or the areas to understand where actually the error is there because this product cost calculation is not one area where we are going to have the issues or because of this configuration uh, it is not working so because multiple things are combined together then only we are going to calculate the product costing the entire cost calculation depends how you have configured the costing variant and the valuation variant because Cost calculation is fetching the data from different modules or from different submodules because for this data we are going to collect the material data with related to integration with MM we are going to get activity again related to the PP we are going to get material cost also we are going to for that also PP integration is required and all these things are controlled through the costing variant which is there under costing data you can see this costing variant under and this costing variant also contains the valuation variant so where we are going to define how the material cost will be calculated how the activity cost will be calculated how the surcharge cost will be calculated overhead will be calculated for user it is very easy thing user is just going to run the cost calculation program and automatically system is going to calculate the cost that's why we are saying that it is automatic cost calculation but in back end we have to do all the configuration then only it is going to work so let's explore this costing variant and how the costing variant will be there what are the different components related to the costing variant so i already configured one costing variant so this is a costing variant along with this plant so you can see we have different tabs are there and this costing variant is part this valuation this is a variant this is valuation variant and this valuation variant is part of our costing variant so in costing variant multiple things we are going to add different settings so here if you check this valuation variant so here we have configured how the material cost will be calculated from this material tab how the activity cost is going to be calculated from this one uh, how this uh, overhead is going to calculate it so each and everything we are going to configure in back end then only we are going to get the uh, the cost calculation and uh, related to this if any error will be there so we have to handle those errors so if any error is going to occur then we have to check whether the bill of material is missing or not uh, or if it is configured or not any routing configuration issue is there or not if any uh, over related configurations having the issues or so uh, multiple things should be combined together then only we are going to calculate the plant cost or we are going to calculate the actual cost.